many Kenyans are asking, who is this man, Mohammed Abdul Badida, who wants Kenyans to elect him as president, and where has he been all along? Mohammed is a teacher. In and that, that is a noble profession. I was trained by the government of Kenya. And uh, you're going to win the election yeah, in the yeah, first yeah. round? 100%. Thank God. Democracy has brought a pastoralist to sit here on this table. That's democracy. <laughs> Somebody says, today is the prayer day. Malimu, can you come? It is the prayer day. I see that as a blasphemy. Before you ask God, before you pray, first meet the conditions. There is a criteria. Whole government, everybody is complaining. You are stealing. You are stealing. Oh my God. If you have taken land, bring back the land. If you have taken money, bring back the money. If you have taken anything that belongs to me, bring it back. And then when it is between you and God, you have to stop the nonsense that you are doing. Hatta the clergy in the mosque, my imam, what they were making brokers. They are brokers, power brokers. When I say that to Mungu, but there is nothing there. If you want to be healthy, eat when you are hungry. This timetable, I don't know who brought it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then the dinner you come up with. Phase one, where you take soup and mushroom, then phase two, phase three. That what, is, what will that you is do? What if will you want you to be saved will, from yes. corrupt leaders, mm -hmm. if you want to be saved from, from corrupt leaders, you adapt preventive medicine. Principle number one, eat when you feel the pangs of hunger. Number two, when you feel the pangs of hunger, don't fill your belly with food. You eat every gideri and then there is no space for water. You need to give a third water, a third food, and then a third breathing space. Jubilee should not be excited because of the numbers they see in the screen. I will request Raila to personally come to the center here. Please bring your tiling center from the skies and come to Bomas. Please, please come. Matiangi, who is an able security uh, 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 head, went to the sky and could not find your telling center man please bring it what do you say about cheating in elections i said we will steal as long as there is no integrity as long as we don't know god we will steal but the problem between jubilee and nasa is each one is worried who may be smarter in stealing and may steal more than the other that is that is the story otherwise there's cheating so many people wanted to marry this wonderful and beautiful lady Kenya, but uh, we all said uh, each each person uh, wanted to show that he's, he's this, you know, don't marry the other person uh, because she has these weaknesses. But despite what we said and what was said, the lady went for Uhuru. Let me tell you, if your father has failed you, it is kind of you and it is a responsibility to tell that go and rest and leaders are chosen for two reasons one if the citizens are bad people wajanja wajanja god will bring mjanja raised to power six mjanja atakuibia hata pant suspicious residents of nairobi south sea estate say to have noticed some eyebrow raising activities in a house owned by abduba dida a two-time presidential candidate they then reported the concerns to the estate officials saying they noticed high frequency of mass movement of young people to and from the house routers were also found in the house so were sex enhancing drugs and contraceptives in another room a makeshift studio had been installed and yet another section of the house school desks were found stacked on each other one of the rooms which had campaign materials is suspected to be Dida's home office because of its setting. The police say they are conducting investigations to determine what exactly the house was being used for. They also want to determine if illegal immigrants had been in the house and where they were from. The former presidential candidate told NTV that the police have a right to gain access to any house, anywhere, and conduct operations. There is a problem. We get a mess and an osiku, a hapo I and M bank. So, Pisa na Nusu, I met a brown lady and a dark, slim young man. Nikauliza, Niliweka Gari, Apo Karibao, Nikauliza. Habarizemu, 
same jury? Is it African for a woman to be on the street this time? She said, no. Is it Kenyan? No. Are you from a night shift? No. <laughs> then I asked her, because she said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I Wazazi wako maskini, nimetafuta kazi, hakuna kazi, nikaamua niuze mwili yangu. Niuze? Mwili yangu. Nikamwambia, "Hivyo Mungu anataka?" She said, "Hapana." Mila ya Wakamba inataka? Hapana. Uafrika inataka? Hapana. Why? Kwa nini unafanya hivyo? Shida. Sema, "I have a problem." Alaka niambia you are a good Samaritan. Nilisimama hapa usiku kuuza mwili yangu na imagine sijapata mteja. I told her how much. She said me the list is 200 shillings. I told her I'm married to three wives and uh, still you can apply but take this 200 shillings. <laughs> take this 200 <laughs> shillings and I want to talk to you. I want to talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She told me, let him speak for himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are not brothers because the lady is so light and so brown. Now wherever you are dark, when you nani? So mata mimi, ni nauza. Listen. Hata mimi ni na? Ni nauza. So I tell you, okay, this lady was designed by God to fulfill that responsibility. Lakini amekosea kwa sababu aliruka mpaka. You know, God designed her, sinio? God was create, created Eve for a purpose, sinio? You need to do it the legal way. So say, hey, kidogo ilikazi ni ile ile tu, lakini alienda kidogo wrong. We will correct her. So say, wewe mwanaume, unauza nini? <laughs> He told me, I don't want to say some things here. <laughs> eh? <laughs> he told me, he, mimi nimetoka ni mkelenji, nimetoka Eldoret. Nimeenda kutafuta kazi, Mombasa. Nikapata hii biashara. You know, it's funny when you are learning homosexuality from Muslims. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah? 